Well, hey there, Bright Light, and welcome to this week's episode of Urban Shamanism with me, Steffi Funk, where I give you the sacred tools for an extraordinary life in the concrete jungle. So with that, let's dive right in. This week, we are in week three of our four-part video series about the shamanic medicine wheel. And if you recall, the medicine wheel is a sacred manifestation map that leverages the energy of the four directions to help you birth your desires of your heart into the world. So we've already been through the East and the South, and if you missed those videos, I highly recommend you go back and watch those. If for any reason you can't find them, just comment below and I'll be sure to get you the links that you need to get those going. But they will give you all the context you need to be successful in the West, which is the direction that we're in today. So welcome to the wild, wild West. And the West is all about intention. Now, if you recall, the way the medicine wheel works is that if you start off in the east in the negative pole, which is chaos, that leads you to the negative pole of the south, which is trap, which leads you to the negative pole of the west, which is one of two things. It's either obsession or confusion, okay? So we don't wanna be in the west in any of those places. So if you find yourself here in either confusion or obsession, that's your cue to go back into the south or the east, figure out where you kind of took a wrong turn and get yourself into the positive pole and then come back to the west so that you can be in the positive pole of the intention of the west, which is clear vision. So what's so beautiful about the west is the west is all about letting go of what no longer serves you and getting really clear on your intention. So giving it a voice and using that energetically to start to create the framework for action, which is what happens when you move into the north. And remember, we get into so much trouble when we try to bypass all the rest of the stuff and just get right into action. And then the north is filled with this negative pull, which is struggle, instead of the positive pull, which is effortless action. So it totally behooves you to lay all this beautiful groundwork first. So today I'm gonna to talk you through the West. I'm gonna explain what it is, and I'm going to give you five practices for both letting go and releasing what no longer serves you, as well as calling in the very thing you want. And remember, this medicine wheel can be used on anything you wanna manifest. I've been taking you through how I used it to manifest my divine purpose. And remember, this cheat sheet is free for you below so in the link below you can download this cheat sheet of the medicine wheel so you always have a reference point of where you are in the wheel and you're able to work with the energy of whichever direction that you're in to orient yourself so that by the time you get in the north into your manifestation like i say it's easy and it's effortless Take better care of your sheet than I have of mine. It's a little wrinkly, but it still does the job. So again, you can get this for free below. Okay, so let's talk about the West. The West and the North were finally in the masculine side of the wheel. So remember the East and the South were feminine and feminine energy is all about being and receiving. So here we were really creating the framework for us to be integrated and stabilized and powerful as now we start to be more masculine and pour our medicine into the world or actually take action towards our creations. But the West is inner masculine. So there's still a lot of inner work that's going on here in the West that's gonna create a lot of ease when we're in action in the North. So let me see if there's anything else I wanna say about that. Um, so the West is all about clearing space, getting rid of what no longer serves, and it's about getting the message and giving it a voice and using your intention to start to really pave the path and call in all of the energies of the universe to align for you so that the north is very effortless. But the west is really the first place where we have some clarity. So we did our job in the east and the south of of creating the space to get the crazy divine idea, the West is where we've actually received 
the crazy divine idea. So one thing I want to tell you about the crazy divine idea, it's crazy. You know it's divine if it feels like it's pushing you out of your comfort zone, if it feels uncomfortable, if it feels like, I don't know, irrational or God, nobody else is doing this or I must be kind of crazy. Then you know you're onto something. The divine loves to experience itself in infinite ways and it's constantly expanding so your crazy divine idea will feel expansive and part of being expansive is pushing you beyond limits right it's pushing you beyond what you thought were your boundaries so if it's a little uncomfortable that's a good sign that means you're onto something so what it's really required of us in the west is to be brave and to be bold and to be courageous about giving that crazy divine idea a voice and the first way we do that is we don't discount it we give it credit we say oh my gosh i've been like discounting that all this time but it's actually real and it's really something so just the, the full act of acknowledging it and admitting it like for me when I was like in corporate America and I wanted to become a healer, like I can't tell you how many times I was like, yeah, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it, because it felt too crazy. And when I was finally able to say that's it, then I had power and I was able to give it a voice. So I am going to give you five processes for you to use this week and as you're in the West to both clear out what no longer serves you and call in the very thing that you want. So the very first of those processes is I want you to get a stick from outside, any stick will do, and you're gonna use the stick and you are going to clean your energy body with it, right? So just basically like you're cleaning your aura, you're cleaning your body, and you're going to let that stick just take anything from you that no longer serves. So that's outdated beliefs and old habits and whether it's from this lifetime or past lifetimes, you name it. You're gonna just take that stick until you feel complete. And you might even notice, ooh, it's extra sticky right here. Okay, I'm gonna really use that stick in this spot. And just do that across your whole energy field. And once you're done, you're going to break the stick. Now in shamanism, everything in nature has medicine and the medicine of a stick is that it represents like our bones and our teeth and places that we hold really old patterns. So when we break the stick, we are breaking old, old stuff and we are allowing it to finally release. And then what you do with that stick is totally up to you. You can toss it in a fire and burn it. Please do that safely. Or you can like maybe set up a little altar outside where you bury it. So up to you, but break that stick, break the pattern. So that's number one. Number two is you are going to burn anything that no longer serves you. So you're gonna do that by writing it out. So just take a few minutes and do a journal entry of anything you wanna get rid of, whether that's again, habits, patterns, people in your life, um, belief systems, um, you know, just things that keep showing up for you that aren't working for you anymore. Be really cognizant of energy leaks. Energy leaks are things in your life that demand a lot of your attention or energy and are very distracting. Um, so like habits can fall in that category, people can fall in that category. And you're going to put those all together into a list and you are going to take it outside and you are going to burn that shit. So fire is an extraordinary medicine, right? It's again, it's shamanic medicine and fire is just such a beautiful energy of clearing. So use the energy of fire to literally burn away, clear away anything that no longer serves you. And you can even burn that stick in that fire. So if you wanna do a two for one, do that. Okay, so now that you're clear, you've cleared out anything that no longer serves you, now you have the space to call in what you want. So there's three ways that you're gonna do that. First is something that is called calling in the fields. And I actually learned this from my teacher, Jose Stevens, who I assume learned it from someone else. And that's the way these things work, right? They get passed down in lineages. And I find this, this process so very powerful. And that's where you're just gonna sit in your morning meditation 
and you are going to call in the energetic field of anything that you want. So things like love, abundance, flow, expansion, magic, miracle, synchronicity, you name it, whatever you want to call in. And this is all you do. You say, I open the field of love. I call in the field of love. I open the field of abundance. I call in the field of abundance. And just go down the line until you feel complete on calling in the quality of everything you want. And you'll notice that as you open the field of love and you open the field of abundance or whatever it is you want, each field has a different felt sense energetically. And you can really feel when you energetically call that in just with your mere intention to do so just by stating it out loud that that energy gets into your energy system and your day i guarantee will go differently on the days that you call in the fields versus the days you don't there is magic in the process so call in magic while you're at it because who can't use a little magic okay the next one is using what if statements so what if statements are things like, hmm, I wonder what it would be like if I got upgraded to first class on my next flight. Or I wonder what it be like, what it would be like if I made $50,000 a month. I wonder what it would be like if I called in the perfect divine partner and uh, they completely supported me and lit me up in everything I do. Like you name it, I, those were just hypothetical examples. Um, whatever it is that you want, you play with these what if statements or I wonder what it would be like if. And the reason that they're so effective is that you're taking like positive thinking and positive affirmations really don't work because there's a cognitive dissonance between what you actually believe and what you're saying. And, and the energy field recognizes that there's a cognitive dissonance and it like reacts to that dissonance. It's not resonant. But when you play with these ideas, I wonder what it would be like if to have the perfect career. I wonder what it would be like to make the money that would make me feel so happy inside. Like you play with, I wonder what it would be like to have the perfect house. You start to juice up this, the magnetism of these ideas in a way that like you can get behind. Like your belief system is cool with playing like with what if. It's just a what if statement. So there's no cognitive dissonance there. So the law of attraction can really grab hold on those things and bring them to you versus like positive affirmations and things like that. So what if, or I wonder what it would be like if, and fill in the blank with very specific things that you want. Remember at this point, you've received the crazy divine idea. So fill it in with your crazy divine idea. And that brings me to point number five. And this is going to require you to be brave and be courageous. And it's what I did. So when I finally got to the West in the manifestation of my divine purpose, I got really clear that what I wanted to call in was a career I love that gives me financial freedom, location freedom, time freedom, and creative freedom. And I put that out into the universe. I started giving it a, a voice to people that I knew could receive it and give it back to me. And so today, this is your inner shaman practice, is to tell me below, what's your crazy divine idea? What's that thing you want that you can give voice to? And comment below with what it is. And if you do that, I will hold you in the space of that thing coming to you and I will gift it to you energetically. But I can only do that if you actually give it a voice. So be brave, be bold, be courageous. I told you my what if statement and I told you my declaration statement when I was in the West. And when I did that, everything changed. So do it, give it a voice, don't discount it anymore. Say it out loud. What's that thing that you really want? Put it in the comments below and I will give it back to you energetically. Don't forget to download your copy of The Medicine Wheel by popping in your email address below. And join me next week when we talk about the direction of the North. Finally, we're going to be getting into effortless action and the actual manifestation of the very thing you want. I will see you then.